Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So quite a few of you said that you are struggling with this Phoenix boss fight and that it's incredibly stupid and incredibly confusing. And initially I kind of thought so too, it was very annoying, but actually when I realized how the fight's meant to be done once I actually read the nodes properly, uh, I started absolutely loving this fight because I do think it is a very skill intensive fight and it can be done with pretty much any champion for the most part. And there are obviously some cheese options. Hercules can absolutely destroy this fight. I'm going to show how Ronin can do this fight as well. Probably the easiest option. But I'm going to explain the fight and help you understand how the fight is meant to be fought. This is not going to be super in-depth guide, but I'll still do my best. Rather than to tell you, use this champion and you'll be fine. But to explain what's happening in this fight and why I actually like it. I like the design of it. So anyways, we're going to start with Enhanced Parry and forced entropy and extent. After successful parry, you gain a power gain buff, which is typically an awesome thing. However, if you have wither debuff on you, then all that power gain gets reversed and you effectively end up losing power. But guess what? It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. All of this up top nodes, they're just kind of designed to trip you up, force you to rush, to land a hit every six seconds in order not to get that wither and, you know, make the fight feel more urgent than it actually is. Guess what? It doesn't matter. Get 10 wither debuffs on yourself. What is the worst thing that will happen? You will lose power when you parry. Wow. You know, one single power lock node is more potent and more damaging than, you know, all this entire setup. So if you do have wither debuff, on you, well, A, you get willpower heal, and B, don't parry, just block bait heavy attacks. That's it, and that's typically even better. So that's the first strategy. Ignore this everything up top. Don't rush, don't even look at those with the debuffs, and just don't parry, just block bait the heavy attacks. That is about it. Don't let that wither uh, forced entropy node kind of have you rush and make silly mistakes. Ignore it. Again, nothing bad happens if you do. The entire fight actually is focused only about the Haunted node and buffed up. The buffed up is on Defender. It's like one of those new map 8 nodes where you can't do any damage unless Phoenix has three buffs active. Now, obviously, she can get there by herself, which I'm going to showcase in the video. And, uh, you know, you just need to be wary that you need three buffs in order to do damage. But the entire fight mechanic node is summed up here in one sentence. When the defender dashes back, the attacker is faulted for three seconds. That's it. That's the only thing that matters. The only thing that matters in this fight is that you do not want her dashing back. How do you prevent it from happening for most part? Just hold your block, bait out the heavy attack. That's it. That's the secret of this fight for most champions. Hold your block, bait out the heavy attack. Also, all debuffs then are purified, converted into Fury Buffs for Phoenix. That is the way how you can make sure she always has buffs active. Bring in champions that inflict debuffs on her. Not too many, because then the block damage can become quite spicy. I'm going to showcase that as well. But champions that inflict, you know, fair amount of debuffs, like 2-3 fairly regularly. That Those are the perfect champions. Any champion can do this fine. Virtually any. But ideally, you do want to be able to apply a debuff on Phoenix, like a debuff or two debuffs, maybe. And then Falter is not affected by ability accuracy, whatever. And the key aspect is that whilst you are being faltered, if you do still damage her, then all of the damage is reflected back. That's just there, so you can't cheese it with champions like Human Torch and Professor X bypassing Falter completely. Hercules works because he can eat all of the damage and remain immortal. So Hercules is probably the best answer for this. But, you know, regular champions that bypass miss are not really that effective here. But again, the key of this fight is when the defender dashes back, the attacker is faltered for three seconds. That's the one mechanic that matters. And before we get to kind of like an actual fight breakdown, if you really insist on cheesing this fight and you don't have Hercules, then know that Ronan is perfectly capable of doing it. So here is what you want to do with Ronan. You get her just under a bar of power, basically. Do four hit combos and push her to level two. That's it. Push her to level two. You see, I just waited out the falter. 
take a bit of block damage. I have that wither. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. It doesn't affect combat power rate. So here, I just want her to use that level 2. So she's going to start building her furies now fairly quickly. So at this point, I'm going to drop my level 2. Uh, each special attack of Ronan kind of eats up a fury, which lets you increase the uptime you will have before she's going to before she's going to uh, burn out. And at this point, you drop your special attack when she has like 9, 10 furies, something like that. You do a ton of damage. As you can see here, she was already burnt out. She doesn't regenerate anything. Now, granted, at this point, you will eat a level 3 and die, most likely. But she's going to have 1 HP, and you can easily finish off the fight afterwards. You can wither down all of her health. She's not going to be healing. You're going to eat a level 3 at this point, and you will get KO'd. But then you're going to start with her being at 1% health the next fight, and you just need to kind of tickle her a bit. But Ronan is definitely a very good way how to get her from 100% to 1% health and then finish off with whatever champion you have remaining. Super easy, super simple, the entire fight. Right. The thing that I was talking about before is just champions that inflict damage. Uh, well, any debuffs. Again, we can see. So whilst I'm faltered, you know, just stay there, just chill. The point is, ideally, you just want to block bait the heavy attacks, but, you know, uh, this is going to be a bit messy fight. It's not going to be perfect by any means. I'm going to show kind of much clearer version of that fight. Uh, let's say with Joe fix it in a second. But the point is, you know, as long as you give her damaging debuffs or debuffs, then uh, she converts them into furies. She always will have her buffs now there. I did make a mistake. But, uh, you know, she has plenty of buffs. Sometimes you will struggle baiting out that special attack like I do here. But now that she has, I just... Uh, want to get in an opening, get her in the corner, and that's it. You can just attack her. The only thing that you need to worry about her is dashing back. That is the one thing that matters, the one thing that you need to pay attention to, and that is it. And then you can just, you know, turn it into a regular fight. Just hit her. Avoid parry. Now, when she has no buffs, let her dash back on purpose so she can gain some buffs again. And then you can just go in and keep on hitting her. Keep on hitting her. There's nothing complicated. So I'm going to show like the better start with, let's say, Joe Fix It. Joe Fix It is a fairly decent champion here. I will get in trouble later on for giving her too many debuffs, and then my block damage is going to get huge. But again, with Joe Fix It, what you want to do is just do your hits, uh, put up your block, and bait out that heavy attack. Do your hits, put up the block, bait out your heavy attack, and that's it. At this point, I'm going to inflict debuffs on her, uh, you know, just in case she needs some boost there. Here is, once you bait out the special attack, perfect, you can go back in. You're going to see that now she's going to start building up furies quicker than she did before. And do the four hits, bait out heavy attack, hit her. That is the secret of the fight. That is literally the secret. Don't try to do too much. Do the do your you know few hits there, bait out heavy attack, and you can go aggressive. That is how the entire fight is meant to go. And I do like this fight design again quite a lot. I appreciate it. And again, you can do this fight with virtually any champion. It is easier if you place debuffs on her, but with Joe Fix It, it kind of was a bit too many debuffs because I am gonna end up giving her like 30 Furies, and then the block damage is gonna be quite insane. So Maybe not that many, like here's 25, we're going to see the block damage in a second. It's going to be brutal if I don't finish the clip here. But yeah, you can use you know, Diablo, any champion you want. I will mess up somewhere along the way, but again, the entire point is just block bait the heavy attacks. And only thing you need to watch out for is when she dashes back. You help yourself if you put few debuffs on Phoenix, because then it's easier to make sure she has at least few debuffs. And again, very simple, very easy. Absolutely nothing to worry about. You can also probably cheese it with like Dr. Voodoo and several other champions. Uh, I can imagine. Yeah. Um, but that is about it. I hope this video was helpful for you to understand how this fight works. And uh, again, I actually like this design. I think it's uh, quite a clever node.
uh, I think it can be very, very, very problematic node in some circumstances, but uh, the way it's implemented right here, right now, I did find it enjoyable. I did find it enjoyable, and it was something that I kind of had to figure out. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the